Hello everyone, this is Sue Broom and I'm here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of November 4 through 10 of 2024. So it's the first full week of November. So I am shuffling The Desert Speaks, which from this deck is, you know, if you've seen me before, you know. I'm going to be pulling one card to anchor, oh, there all right, it picked itself, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, even though I do know what it is because it flipped right side up. So now I'm shuffling the angels are everywhere. And if you haven't already, please do clear your energy, clear your space, call in your angels and guides. And we'll see how fast these cards are coming out. Let's see if they can, okay, first angel card. That one I did not see. Oops. Second angel card. That one came out really fast. Yeah, that way. That time, half the deck switched sideways. All right. Is that? No. No. I can tell by how far out it's sticking and how hard it is to pull it out. Because if half the deck's going to come out, then it isn't the card. Third angel card. All right. So hold the intention right along with me that these are the perfect cards, no matter when you are seeing this. Okay, so let's see what the cards are revealing. And again, this is for the week of November 4 through 10 of 2024. The Desert Speaks card is, yes, this is one that landed face up on my keyboard. Reach beyond the stars. You know, so many times you hear reach for the stars. Well, this is... The angels, the divine, knows that you can reach even further than that. There's uh, this message many times, not always, but many times. It's twofold. It feels spiritually reaching. It also does feel physically reaching. Many of you, I think, but there's something about, I don't even know what kind of plant this was. It was a pretty big, you know, cactus I don't know what kind of cactus, but it, it, it almost reminds me of knuckles, you know? Like there's different knuckles in here, especially this one, you can really see it. And I always feel like, not, not always, but today I definitely feel like it is stretching. So it's stretching your mind, stretching beyond what you think you can stretch, but it's also stretching your physical body, whether that means you know, stretching before you get out of bed, whether that means sitting in the chair and doing a stretch, you know, stretching your fingers or going like this with your fingers, stretching your toes. There's definitely, and I think each of you will know what feels best for you, but there's something about it opens up the flow and it opens up, it's interesting because it opens up the flow physically, but it also will help open up the flow spiritually. Whatever that means for each of you. Ooh. All right, first angel card we have. Let's see how the angels are going to support us. Be love. You know, and that's something when you are reaching, you can just feel love and allow the love to flow that much easier through your body, through your mind, going out into the air, out into the sky, out into the stars, out past and beyond the stars. Sending love to the stars. Wow. Look at the shift in the universe if everyone did that. Second angel card we have is love will expand. All right, we got another love card. And, you know, how can I do these? Here. This love will expand is interesting because when you are reaching, especially physically, you absolutely are expanding. Who knows? Some of you might even grow taller just by stretching a little bit. Isn't that funny? But... 
<clears throat> excuse me, love is coming into play with both of these. So what I would say is absolutely bring, when you are reaching, bring love into that movement. Whether it's a mental exercise that you're doing, whether it's a spiritual exercise that you're doing, or whether it's a physical exercise that you're doing. doesn't matter. Bring love into it. Third angel card we have is trust in who you are. Trust in who you are. Absolutely. You know, this is a time where there's so much shifting and changing. And some, some people will doubt themselves, but it's like, no, now is not the time to doubt who you are. Who you are at your core and who each of us are at our core is divine sparks of love and light. Each one of us. So trust in who you are. And maybe that, maybe trusting in who you are, maybe for you that is how, what the reaching beyond truly is about. All righty, everybody. Have a great week, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And if you'd like to find out more about me, please do go to my website, suebroom.com. Angel blessings to you and make it a great day.